Hello, welcome to our Winsing Academy. And we are going to discuss today IITJE Advanced 2017 Paper 2. And uh, we have already discussed Paper 1. And in Paper 2, we have discussed already Section 1. Now we are going to discuss Section 2. And uh, without wasting the time, uh, we are going to start the solution of questions. So in Section 2, let me analyze this. This is a section for 28 marks in which there are seven questions has been asked and out of these seven question, every question has four options in which one or more correct answers. For each correct answers, you will be awarded four marks and partial marks as usual, which is given for each correct option plus one marks. In case not attempted, zero marks will be given. But if any one or more will be wrong answer mark, then in that case, minus two will be the penalty. So this is the position of the paper. Now the first question I'm going to discuss here today, uh, that is a question from integration itself, but this is a very, very difficult type question, not an easy question. And um, this is a question of difference of terms. So what is this? Let me discuss the solution of this question. The expression given as k plus 1 upon x into x plus 1 integration dx. So this is a question which can be answered like using this k plus 1 is a constant. So this can be 1 upon x into x plus 1 dx. And uh, this will be k plus 1. This can be written as further as using partial fraction or kya khoya kya paya theory. So you have the kya khoya kya paya nothing loss or nothing gain because LCM will be same as what we have earlier and uh, this is uh, nothing about to loss because x plus 1 will come in numerator and minus x so x plus 1 minus x will remain x I mean, remain 1 and that is here already so nothing lose and nothing gain this is all about and what will be the solution of this that can be written as k plus 1 log of x minus log of x plus 1 let me write in uh, somewhere else because here limit of integrations are also there involved that is k to k plus 1 so we can write here k to k plus 1 and again this is k to k plus 1 so the integration of 1 by x dx will be here like uh, that will be k plus 1 into log of x minus log of x plus 1 and integration limit is k to k plus 1. So further we can write here k plus 1 into log of k plus 1 log of k plus 1 minus log of k using upper limit lower limit in first section and then using upper limit and lower limit in second section as well. So what will happen? In second section, this will be giving some other brackets as well. Here, this will be log of k plus 1. If I put here k plus 1, then that will be k plus 2. k plus 1 plus 1. k plus 2 minus log k plus 1. So that will be log k plus 2. k plus 2 minus k plus 1. Right? And that will come complete one. Now, the further can be written as this is k plus 1 log k plus 1, k plus 1 into log of k plus 1. To find the difference of series, I can write here k into k plus 1 also. So that would be minus k into log k, k into log k. What I did here, multiply this k by this k. And now multiply by 1 by log k, that will come later on minus what will happen k plus 1 multiply by this log k plus 2 so k plus 1 multiply by log k plus 2 right and again i using this bracket minus log of what k into k plus 1 k into k plus 1 again this is equal closed now that will be log of k plus 1 minus log of k and that will come right arranging all these in same way and how we did this 
let me explain this once again how i did this because here k plus 1 multiply by this k plus 1 k into k plus 1 will come right this k into k plus 1 come from here because this k plus 1 will multiply by this k plus 1 again this k plus 1 multiply by this k plus 2 so k plus 1 into k plus 2 will come here right this 2 will come now the thing is that what other factors and from where it will come so k plus 1 multiply by k plus 1 and again this k plus 1 will multiply the another factor of log k plus 1 that is here you know, no, this k plus 1 will multiply this k plus 1 also and due to this negative sign negative negative positive so k plus 1 log k plus 1 again will come so i had written here that k into k plus 1 log k plus 1 here k into log k plus 1 here minus and that is k into k plus 1 log k plus 2 and k into k plus 1 plus k plus 1. So due to this negative sign this will be also positive and positive so k plus log k plus 1 will be here and log k plus 1 will be here. So if I would take log k plus 1 common then k plus 1 will be the factor. So this k plus 1 multiply by this and that has been distributed here in two factors 1 k into k plus 1 here log k plus 1 here and log k plus 1 is there also. So these two factors are here that will come from k plus 1 multiplied by this log, log k plus 1 and due to this negative sign and this negative sign they will be positive. Now similarly uh, k plus 1 log k is left. So k times of log k I have used here and k types of log k I have used here and now the remaining k, log k has been used here. So k plus 1 log k, k times of log k has been used here and 1 times of log k has been used here. So that's all is being rearranged. Now the question has given that this whole integration is under summation series, summation of where to where 1 to 98. So therefore, if I would write here this expression like sigma 1 to 98 sigma. Now the expression comes again with sigma k is equal to 1 to 98 k plus 1 to k k plus 1 upon x into x plus 1 dx. Then I can write here separately this is a sigma k is equal to 1 to 98 in first these two right so that will be k plus 1 log k plus 1 minus k log k right this is the first one first one and now again minus sigma k is equal to 1 to 98 again k plus 1 log of k plus 2 minus k log k plus 1 that will come and finally plus sigma k is equal to 1 to 98 log of k plus 1 minus log of k so that will come so three summation i will be apply in this three one now if we put k is equal to 1 to 3 then what will come if I put k is equal to 1, then what will come? Where k is equal to 1 to 1 to 3 up to 98. Then in first term, it will come here that uh, this will be 1 if I would put 2 log 2, 2 log 2 minus 1 log 1, 2 log 2 minus 1 log 1, 1 log 1, right, like this, plus if I put k is equal to 2, then this will come 2 plus 1, 3 log 3, 3 log 3 minus 2 log 2, 2 log 2, like this. Similarly, this will come here, 90, if I put 98, then it will be 99 log 99 minus 98 log 98, right? You see that, <coughs> if you do that, what will come? 
here it will come like 2 log 2 is positive from here and 2 log 2 is negative there also 2 log 2 is positive and 2 log 2 is negative similarly 3 log 3 is positive and 3 log 3 will be negative thereafter similarly so first one will cancel the last one similarly the, this one will cancel this previous one so 99 log 99 minus 1 log 1 will left from here that is 99 log 99 will left why because log 1 is always 0 so from first it will left 99 similarly proceeding this other sections as well you will be able to get it that from here what will left try to understand this from here what will be left if i would put here ok is equal to 1 then 2 log 3 minus what will ha happen here 2 log 3 will left 2 log 3 if i put here 2 log 3 minus this is if i would put here similarly then what will happen let me write few steps so that you will be able to understand this right so if i put k is equal to 1 in this second segment then k is equal to 1 then 1 plus 1 2 2 log 3 that will come up like 2 log 3 minus k is equal to 1 1 log 2 1 log 2 right and next term will be like k is equal to 2 then 2 plus 1 3 3 log 4 minus if i put 2 then 2 log 3 right so 2 log 3 is positive here and 2 log 3 is negative here so similarly this all will cancels out and what will be the last one if i will put 99 then that will be 98 then this will be 98 plus 1 99 log 100 minus 98 log 99 98 log 99 so using this fact and here again log k plus 1 minus log k that will be the third term so if i write all these terms one by one that is uh, using in third one what will happen that will come up like uh, this is the second one this is the first one you know and uh, in third one if i would put k is equal to one then this will be coming log two minus log one plus log three minus log two right like this so this will be i put 99 then 98 then log 99 minus log 98 that will come so this is the third term now similar like what we had cancelled in first term we may cancel in second term as well so first and this one cancel this will cancel with the previous one so this will be cancelled means last term of this and first term of this will left similarly here first and this last cancel this will cancel with the latter one and this will be cancelled with the previous one so what is left we have left with 99 99 log 99 from here only right this is the section which is left and then left 1 log 2 minus log 2 plus 99 log 100 plus minus log 1 log 1 would be 0 so no need to write plus log 99 99 log 99 plus log 99 it would be 100 log 99 plus 99 log 100 minus 2 log 2 right minus log 2 so 99 and that would be log 99 there is a minus sign so I need to write here negative sign because in second term there is a negative sign as well there was minus sign so here it was minus negative sign negative sign was there so this will be minus so minus log 99 and that will be minus log here it will be negative sign negative sign minus 99 log 100 and this would be minus minus plus log 2 so log 2 would be positive and 99 log 100 would be negative and here so what will happen 
log 2 is positive. This 99 plus log 99 would be log 100. 100 log 99 minus 99 log 100. 99 that will be negative here because it was negative. So negative. Here it is negative. So now I need to write it like uh, Now I need to write it like uh, <clears throat> what will cancel? Try to understand. This will be log of 99 to the power 100 into this is 2. So 2 divided by this will be 100 to the power 99. 100 to the power 99. So that will come log m into n is equal to log m plus log n. So and log m into n is log m plus log m into n is equal to log m plus log n. Now we have to find whether this value, this is the i will come. Whether this one is more than 1 or less than 1. If I would write here that expression is given, what is this? Now see the option and in option it is given that i is greater than log 99. How to calculate this or it is a list 89. So there are only two either one of them will be true. Of course the pattern says about this either one of these two will true or either one of these two will true. Because both are dealing with the same expression. There are two different inequality exists there and therefore we have that whether the first one is true or second part is true. Now let us check it whether this is first part is true log 99 or something what will happen. We have let me write this 100 to the power 99 is greater than twice of 99 to the power 99 isn't it? 100 to the power 99 will be more than 2 into 99 to the power 99. Right or wrong? Right now. So now we can write this if we multiply by 100 both the sides, 99 both the sides, then what will happen? Or if we want to multiply both the sides by this is a 100 to the power 99 is 2 to the power 99 to the power 99. So I can write here this is 100 to the power 99 uh, will divide here this side then what will come? Uh, let me write this correctly. Sorry, it technically is so, so it takes too long time. 2 into 99 to the power 99 divided by 100 to the power 99. This is smaller one divided by bigger one is less than 1. Now, if you multiply by 99 both the sides, then what will happen? 2 into 99 to the power 100 multiply by 99 again. So 99 to the power 100 would be there. And this will be 100 to the power 99. That will be less than 99. So this is what the expression we have 99. If you are taking log because this is a positive number. Taking inequality of log will not make any problem. So if I take this is taking log both the sides then what will happen? The expression will come like now if I take log log of 2 into 99 to the power 100 whole divided by 100 to the power 99 is less than log 99 and this is what this is nothing else but integration so integration of integral value of this from first so i must be less than log 99 that will be one of the answers now we need to discuss the second answer of this question so what will happen second portion of this question will be that uh, this is whether greater than 49 by 50 or less than 49 by 50 and uh, that what we have to calculate. So I can calculate here because of the lack of a space. So we have an expression like uh, so we need to write here that this expression just here because of the lack of a space. If I would write here this expression is greater than because x is the limiting point of x is in positive domain. So if instead of this x 
if I would write x plus 1, then denominator will be bigger and overall this value function value will be less. So, this value, if I would write here x plus 1, then that value will be less than this. So, we can write here k to k plus 1, k plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 1, that will be x plus 1 whole square dx. Can I write like this? And here k is equal to 1 to 98? Yes. So, now derivative of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x. So, I can write here this again can be written as 1 to 98 minus 1 upon x plus 1 k upon x plus 1 right now k is constant same it will be and now the this is the limiting value will be k to k plus 1 so what will happen if i would write here minus k plus 1 and then what will happen 1 upon k plus 1 upper limit k plus 2 1 upon k plus 2 minus 1 upon k plus 1 this is the upper limit minus lower limit, right? So, that will come here and k plus 1 is numerator. So, this sigma will work here also. k is equal to 1 to 98. Now, this is k plus 1 minus k plus 2. So, what will happen? If I would write this, then this will be k plus 1 minus k plus 2, k plus 1 and k plus 2. Uh, will cancel minus 1 will left this minus will multiply with this plus 1 and this k plus 1 in numerator and this k plus 1 in denominator which will be LCM of k plus 2 and k plus 1 that will be cancels out so what is left there there will be left like sigma k is equal to 1 to 98 1 upon k plus 2 only and if I would put the value from this, then this will be 1 plus 3, 1 plus 4, 1 plus 5, like this up to 1 by 98, which is less than, greater than, if I put the denominator more, then this will be less. So, which is greater than 1 by 100 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 100 up to 98 by 100. If I would put there, then what will be value? If all of them is this, then or 98 even, then this will be up to 1 by 100. How many times? From 3 to 98, that is 50 terms. So that will be uh, total sum will be or even 98 if I would write here, then that will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be 98 upon 100. So that will be 98 upon 100, which is what? 49 by 50. So, I must be greater than 49 by 50. So, this I <coughs> must be greater than, therefore, I must be greater than 49 by 50. So, that will be also answered that I is greater than 49 by 50. So, this C will be answered and I is greater than log 99 that will be also answered. So, here these two options out of the given choice, i is less than log 99, i is less than log 99 and uh, this expression is that i is greater than 49 by 50, the range of this. This is indeed a difficult question, even uh, it takes too much time and many students are not able to solve during the examination, few students only able to attempt this question during the examination. Okay, so moving towards the second question. What is the second question? This is also a bit a uh, tricky question, not so difficult but tricky. I can say this is a tricky question. Here the function is given defined from R to R a differentiable function such that f dash x is greater than 2fx. For all x belong to R and f0 is 1, then which of the function is? Here, as it is a hint, you may consider it as a hint. Hint is given that e to the power 2x they are going to compare with. So, e to the power 2x must be in the function. So, we may consider the function as, this is f does given that solution. Let me write here solution. Solution is, since f does x is greater than 2fx, 
So we can write here f dash x minus 2 fx is greater than 0 for all x belong to R. Now, if we multiply by e to the power minus 2x, e to the power minus 2x. Now you may think that how e to the power minus 2x will come in mind because if it will be e to the power minus 2x this side towards fx then in opposite side it will be e to the power 2x. So that is why you multiply by e to the power 2x positive number and we can multiply by this f dash x minus e to the power minus 2x 2fx is greater than 0 because 0 multiply by everything is 0. That will come here function plus as it is derivative of another function minus derivative plus derivative of first function into second function. So this is the product rule which has been used here and we can write this is the derivative of d by dx of e to the power minus 2x fx that is greater than 0. So derivative of anything is greater than 0 it means that function would be increasing function right now. So if I would consider this function like uh, this is a e to the power x fx is increasing function say e to the power if I took this function as px say px let px is px is equal to e to the power minus 2x fx. So we can write here therefore d by dx of px is greater than 0 and therefore px is increasing function, increasing function, right, for all. So p0 is equal to, f0 is equal to 1 given, here function is f0 is equal to 1, here px is increasing function, so e to the power x p0, px is greater than p0. So therefore, px is greater than p0, p0. This employ px is what? e to the power minus 2x fx is greater than e to the power um, minus 2 into 0 f0. So this employ e to the power minus 2x fx is greater than e to the power 0 is 1 and f0 is already 1 given. So therefore we can write fx must be greater than e to the power 2x. So therefore this first option is correct in 0 to infinity. So option A is correct. Option A is correct. Correct. I hope you got it. Now we have to find whether the fx is increasing or decreasing. Now, um, let us see this uh, second option. What are the other options? First option is correct. Now, whether the fx is increasing or decreasing that we have to deal with. So, whether the function is increasing or decreasing. It is given that f dash x is greater than 2fx. So, use this relation. Let me write here again. f dash x is greater than 2fx. Since it is given that f dash x is greater than 2fx and fx is what? fx is greater than 2 e to the power 2x and this is greater than 2. So f dash x is greater than 2 that is a greater than 0 as well that is positive. So therefore fx is increasing function, increasing function in 0 to infinity. So that will be increasing function in 0 to infinity and therefore C is also correct option. C is also correct. So A and C both are correct because if it is increasing it can't be decreasing. So this is wrong and here f dash x is less than 2x that is not possible because here uh, you can see function is increasing function and here you have seen this that f dash x is greater than twice of fx. So that cannot be less than right now. So d option is wrong and uh, so a and c are correct answers. Now here is another question. Cos 2x is equal to this 
uh, fx is equal to this given now fx is exactly this is a question on determinant so let me write the solution of this question how to deal with first we have to solve the value of determinant if you are going to solve this value of determinant definitely you'll be able to solve it like fx is equal to what will happen cos 2x into this cancel this cancel cos square x plus sin square x so that is 1 right and then cos 2x again negative sign this cancel this cancel cos minus cos square x plus sin square x that will come this cancel and this cancel then cos into cos minus cos square x and minus minus plus so minus cos square x plus sin square x that is if i took minus common then cos square x minus sin square x that is cos 2x again so cos 2x into cos 2x will come now the third is sin 2x into sin 2x into what will come sin 2x this cancel this cancel that is minus sin x cos x and minus sin x cos x again so minus 2 sin x cos x that is minus 2 sin sin 2x 2 sin 2x minus sin x cos x minus sin cos x minus 2 sin x cos x that is minus sin 2x minus sin 2x right now minus sin 2x so what will happen this is finally cos 2x plus cos square 2x minus sin square 2x that will come cos 2x plus cos 4x because cos square x minus sin square x is cos 2x here in place of x there is 2x so this is cos 4x if the fx is equal to this now we have to find if dash x is equal to 0 at exactly 3 points in minus pi to pi we can go ahead with this some other assumptions as well by using the derivative of this function f dash x we will be able to analyze what is this cos 2 is derivative of cos 2x is minus 2 sin 2x and this is minus 4 sin 4x so this is a derivative of function if i would take common minus sin 2x that can be written as minus 2 sin 2x minus 4 into 2 sin 2x into cos 2x if i would take minus 2 sin 2x common then what will left then 1 and here from this 4 cos 2x so for critical points i can write here because uh, we have to find this f dash x is equal to 0 so for critical points critical points if i would put f dash x is equal to 0 then how many value it will give minus 2 sin 2x into 1 plus cos 4 cos 2x is equal to 0 this employee either sin 2x is equal to 0 or cos 2x must be equal to minus 1 by 4 isn't it now since value of this lies between cos 2x will be in between 4 to z 2 cos 2x and 4 to sin uh, okay, 2 sin 2x cos 2x now we have to calculate that sin 2x the value of how many points exactly 3 points or minus pi to pi sin x lies between minus pi to pi let me analyze this since x belong to minus pi to pi this employee 2x must belong to minus 2 pi to 2 pi right so sin 2x or even we can calculate this sin theta is equal to 0 then theta is equal to what let me write this sin theta is equal to 0 then theta is equal to what sin theta is equal to 0 then theta is equal to what this is not working properly so sin sin 2x 
sine it is hang now sine 2x is equal to 0 then 2x is equal to n pi that is 0 pi 2 pi you know 3 pi like that and in negative sense it will be also like uh, 0 uh, minus pi minus 2 pi like this minus 3 pi that will come but x lies between minus pi to pi so x is equal to 0 pi by 2 pi and similarly 3 pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 minus pi minus 3 pi by 2 etc will come right it means how many values come between minus pi to pi minus pi to pi 1 this is 1 first value first 1 and then there is a there is a second pi by 2 and third that is minus pi by 2 so 3 value will come here and cos 2x will also give some value because negative region in second quadrant and third quadrant this will also give some value so exactly 3 point that is not valid this is more than 3 answers will come 0 pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 are 3 answers so more than 3 value definitely will come so first one is wrong now fx attains its maximum at x is equal to 0 minimum at x is equal to 0 and if dash x is equal to 0 at more than 3 points yes that is correct because if this one is wrong then that would be definitely correct answer so this one is correct now whether it is at maximum or minimum value to know this we have to de find derivative again we have to find the derivative of function again so or even you can use this by using the another concept of this uh, using this uh, number line system that will be also helpful uh, wavy curve that will be also helpful but here I am going to use this find the derivative of function again so what will happen if I say the 0 at 0 we have to check only that whether this is a maximum or minimum at 0 so if double dash x is equal to minus this is a minus 2 sin 2x f dash x is what this is minus sin 2x and minus 8 minus 4 sin 4x 4 sin 4x this is what given f dash x is given like this f dash x is given like this one. so so f dash f dash this uh, f dash x is equal to what f dash x is equal to will come here uh, double derivatives so derivative sin 2x is 4 cos 2x and this is 4 4 just 16 cos 4x at x is equal to 0 so f double dash 0 is something negative because cos 0 is 1 and cos 0 is 1 so this is negative and therefore fx attains maximum value maximum value at x is equal to 0 so at 0 x is equal to 0 so b will be also correct b and d both are correct answer and therefore answer is b and d b and d would be correct answer therefore answer will be b and d both are correct answers so using this uh, let us see the next question and the next question is given like this this question is uh, from trigonometry and this year um, from since many years trigonometry has not been given more, more weightage about this but this year they have given some weightage about the trigonometry as well and so some questions have been asked from trigonometry and you will be able to analyze this how to solve this question um, by using this fact of the basic trigonometry as well so in this question uh, alpha beta are non-zero real numbers such that this satisfying then which of the following is true this question uh, we can calculate by using the fact of trigonometry identity 
and what the identity we need to use is because all these are given in terms of tan only so we can write this in terms of uh, tan cos alpha and cos beta we know cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta this is what we have learned so we can use here this in terms of because it is 2 theta then there is a theta now if there is an alpha cos alpha and cos beta then we can use it as uh, alpha by 2 and beta by 2 will come so this can be written as now let me write the solution it is given that 2 cos beta minus cos alpha is equal to 1 minus cos alpha cos beta. Now using for this formula the same formula what we had discussed that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So I can write here moreover 1 minus tan square beta by 2 upon 1 plus tan square beta by minus this will be <coughs> 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 upon 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 that will come here again this will be 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 upon 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 and this is 1 minus tan square beta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square beta by 2. So if I write all these things together then what will come out? Let me write here the output of these two expressions and what will happen? Here this will come like 2 1 minus tan square beta by 2 into 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 and that will be 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 into 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 will come and denominator 1 plus tan square beta by 2 and 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 that will come here also so they will be cancelled out provided this will come 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 into 1 plus tan square beta by 2 minus these two product of these two expression as well so this will come finally two times of here is one negative one positive there is one negative one positive so this is just similar like i can say if i took it as x and y then it would be better finally we will write the answers uh, instead of writing all these hectic i can take it like this so let me write here uh, tan square alpha by 2 is x and tan square beta by 2 is y so that will be uh, if i take here like this let uh, 2 into 1 minus y upon 1 plus y minus 1 minus x upon 1 plus x is equal to 1 minus 1 minus x upon 1 plus x and 1 minus y upon 1 plus y where what I have taken x is equal to tan square alpha by 2 and y is equal to tan square beta by 2 that will be more simplified way we can write it instead of writing this so it will be product 1 plus x minus y minus xy minus 1 minus x 1 minus x minus plus y y multiplied by 1 plus y minus xy and whole divided by this 1 plus x into 1 plus y similarly here it will be also 1 plus x plus y plus xy this whole product will multiply with 1 minus 1 minus x minus y plus x y. So that will come and denominator both the side 1 plus x 1 plus y that will be vanishage. So here what will come that will be 1 plus x minus y minus x y minus 1 plus x minus y plus x y that will come right and then what will cap come here. 1 plus x plus y plus xy minus 1 plus x plus y minus xy. So now the finally what will cancels out here? Here something will cancels out. x is positive 1 which cancels xy xy will cancel. Here uh, 
x y x y again cancel one and one will also cancel out so in this two expression uh, you will find here that in these two expression what will left what is left there i can write here the simply 2x minus 2y 2x minus 2y and 2 multiply by 2 is 4x that will be 4x minus 4y is equal to what is that 2x plus 2y 2x plus 2y that will come 2x plus 2y it will come from there also 2x plus 2y 1 plus x plus y plus xy and that will be minus minus plus minus 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 x minus y so that will be plus plus y ठीक है ये तो सही है और यहाँ पे expression में आ गया one plus x minus y minus xy that is good and here this is one minus x plus y minus xy so that is also minus be plus minus so y 2x minus 2y and this side 2x plus 2y okay so that will be 2x plus 2y so this 2x will come this side and 4y will come this side so what will happen 2x is equal to 6y that is x is equal to y and what is x cos tan square alpha x was tan square alpha by 2 and this is a uh, x is equal to 3y and 3 tan square beta by 2 so here what we can write tan alpha by 2 is equal to plus minus root 3 tan beta by 2 so tan alpha by 2 plus root 3 tan beta by 2 will be also correct and uh, minus will also correct so here in this case this will be correct because it is a negative sign and the similar thing that will be also positive so a and c are correct out of these two and answer is a and c i hope you got it okay now in this particular question i can write here that this particular question is what and how to deal with this particular question if i took this then uh, this is uh, gx is equal to g dash x if i can write here then what will happen g dash x is equal to sine inverse sine 2x right minus sine inverse sine x right so this function will come here this will be possible if and only if sine inverse sine theta is equal to theta if and only if this lies between minus 1 to 1 so that is true sine 2x is lies between minus 1 to 1 and this is also so 2x will left here and that will left x here 2x minus x would be x yes so this is provided x and here if i write here g of pi by 2 then it will be pi by 2 so this will be wrong g dash of minus pi by 2 is also um, minus pi by 2 so that will be also wrong so this will be all are wrong so therefore there will be no out of no option uh, is given out of it. no option is given so i can write here this is incorrect question so here there will be big bonus point bonus marks will be awarded to you and uh, hopefully this will be awarded as bonus marks so here bonus bonus marks will be given to you so don't worry this is for everyone so you can also say that this is question is out of rest here the question is x q y is equal to y is less than equal to x and x q is less than y and 0 to 1 into 2 equal parts x is equal to alpha divide the area of the region between these two parts then what will happen so this is a very common question and uh, I hope you can do that. You know the graph of function like uh, y is equal to graph of function like this graph of uh, function like this. 
here one line is y is equal to x so i can draw a line uh, rather y is equal to x is a straight line y is equal to x is a, a straight line and that line is like this right okay now y is equal to x q is a curve and everybody must be familiar with this curve that y is equal to x q what what will happen y is equal to x q this is a curve like passing through origin sorry and uh, let me draw this curve <clears throat> this curve is something which will come like this right now so we have to calculate this is between point of intersection is 0 and 1 so this is 0 0 and this one is 1 1 so a line which is a coming from here that is 0 to 1 now the area of the region what they have said that some line x is equal to a will divide this region x is equal to a will divide this region in two equal parts x is equal to a is a line which will divide this region in two equal parts right so here this is a line say this is a line which will divide this whole region in two equal parts so this uh, area of this region like this this is the region area sorry uh -huh. well wait 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 hmm. area of the region will be let me write this area of this region will be something this region say this region area of this region is something like this and this is a region area and what I have marked here this area is equal to that area that area is equal to that area and this is what line is given that if uh, this area is equal to that area these two regions are there and we can have an this area as well so that area is equal to this area now we can think about this bit software is giving problem so i'm sorry it takes some time so we have to calculate this x is equal to alpha will divide in two equal areas that is uh, given here so we can write area 1 is equal to area 2 area 1 can be calculated by everybody knows this this is not a big deal so here 0 to 1 y upper y is what x minus lower y that is x q dx 1 to 0 to 1 then this will give the complete area shaded between 0 to 1 but they are saying that they will divide at alpha so 0 to alpha this is equal to alpha to 1 x minus x q dx these two area are same so if the integration i could da uh, do this then what is that y is equal to x that is x square by 2 x 4 by 4 what is that 0 to alpha and that will happen x alpha is x square by 2 minus x 4 by 4 that is alpha to 1 so <clears throat> finally if we do this like uh, then what will come that will come like alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4 and here if you put 0 0 will come this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 and minus alpha if I put alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4 so that will come finally here alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 minus alpha square by 2 plus alpha 4 by 4 if i take it this sign it will be positive and that will come this side it would be negative 
So finally, this will be twice of alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4. And hence, we can write this taking the LCM. What will happen? <coughs> this will be 4. 4 will come 2 alpha square minus alpha 4. 2 alpha square minus alpha 4. LCM will be 4, 4 cancel is equal to what? <coughs> that will come 1 by 2. 2 alpha square if I multiply this so LCM is 4 2 alpha square minus alpha 4 by 4 2 2 is 4 and 2 cancel this 2 times so that will be 1 by 2 which will come up 4 alpha square minus 2 alpha 4 is equal to 1 or further it can be written as 2 alpha 4 minus 4 alpha square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, is there some such expression is given there? Some similar 2 alpha 4 minus 4 alpha square, 2 alpha 4 minus 4 alpha square plus 1 is equal to 0. Yes, there is expression 3 uh, D this type and therefore this D will be the answer. Now, we have to calculate whether the value of alpha H uh, lies between 0 to half or half to 1. It is more than half or less than half. To calculate this, what is the where this alpha lies? To calculate this, what to do? We will write this uh, like this. Alpha square is equal to minus b that is 4 plus minus b square minus 4 is 4 uh, b square is 16 minus this. This is 2 root 2 divided by 2 into 2 that is 4. So in that case, this will be 4 plus minus 2 root 2 that is 1 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 plus minus 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 is something 0 0.7. So 1.7 something 1 plus because 1 minus will not be acceptable. So here this value is 1 plus 1 upon root 2. Root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 that is 1 plus something and this something is how you can calculate this something is what? This is 1 upon 1.41. So, the 1 divided by 1.41 is 0 0.7 approx. So, 1 plus 0 0.7 is greater than half. It means alpha age lies between half to 1. So, therefore, which one? This is also valid. Alpha age lies between half to 1 and therefore, A will be also correct answer. So, 49 A and D both are correct answers. Now, uh, next question is 50. Here we have to check out the continuity and whether the function limit exists or not. So, right hand limit exists or not. So, to check right hand limit first, put x is equal to 1 plus h, right, solution. Then what will happen? This is limit x tends to h tends to 0, 1 plus h, h tends to 0 f of 1 plus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 1 minus 1 plus h into 1 plus h because 1 plus h 1 minus 1 plus h is minus mod h minus mod h and mod h so that will be h so 1 plus h and then what will left 1 plus h into 1 plus h that will left 1 plus h into 1 plus h and then thereafter what is in denominator denominator there will be also 1 plus h so minus mod h will be h and uh, cos 1 upon 1 minus minus h so minus h will left here 1 minus x will be minus h but cos minus theta h cos theta so that will come now if i would write this taking care of h tends to 0, then this will be h minus, this is 1 minus, what is that? 1 plus h whole square. So, it will be something like, this will be the value, cos of something lies between minus 1 to 1. And h divided by something, h is not going to cancel, so 1 minus, this will be h minus 1 plus 2h plus h square whole divided by h and this is cos of 1 by h. So, it will be, it will, 
it will be uh, limit h tends to 0 minus 1 minus h minus h square upon h cos 1 by h. Since this is a finite value and h is this is a denominator which is going to 0 so that will not exist which will be uh, something minus infinity and hence it will not exist does not exist does not exist so option a is correct option a is correct now we have to find left hand limit so put x is equal to 1 minus h 1 minus h and if you put x is equal to 1 minus h then what will come here the expression will come like f of 1 minus h limit h tends to 0 will be limit h tends to 0 1 minus 1 minus h and that will be 1 and this expression what will come see that 1 minus h 1 plus 1 minus h that is h so 1 plus h 1 plus h will come 1 plus h will come here 1 plus h will come and in denominator there will be h and cos 1 plus h so that will come now this expression will come like 1 minus 1 minus h square upon h cos 1 by h and here it will be like uh, 1 minus h upon 1 plus h so in that case um, this expression will be 1 plus 1 minus h so 1 1 h 1 plus h and there will be 1 minus h h so that will be here also so here it will be <coughs> 1 minus h this is a complete sorry this is a complete uh, in this one so it will be 1 minus 1 and minus this is plus h square this cancels so this will be limit h tends to 0 h square by h will remain h cos 1 minus h this is finite value since cos 1 by h is lies between minus 1 to 1 so has finite value and something 0 so 0 multiplied by some finite value is 0 is 0 so answer is 0 this will have a finite value finite value so in this case what will happen this is 0 means c is correct answer here i think so c y is correct answer also so answer is a and c both are correct here this is sorry let me correct this this one will also come here and that will be let me write this correct here that will be 1 minus 1 and this will be minus 2h and h square so here power in this will be 1 and 1 cancel but this will be minus 2h minus h square upon h so minus 2 minus something will come here and that is why it will not exist so this will be mm, <coughs> 1 minus 1 minus 2h and that will be cancels 1 minus 1 is cancels so it will be like uh, make this correct let me write this correctly what will come what will come uh, because i have noted the wrong answers so that is why this will be 1 minus 1 that is 2h minus 2h minus h square whole divided by h and therefore uh, this will be cos of 1 by h and in this case what will happen this will be h divided by h so minus 2 this expression will come like 1 minus x upon this will be minus 2 minus h minus 2 minus h that will be limit h tends to 0 minus 2 minus h cos 1 by h right so that is not going to exist anymore right now it does not exist 
because that will be 0 minus 2 into cos 1 by h is something finite value. We don't know exactly what is that. So it is not going to exist anywhere. So in that this way, this solution is completed and uh, I hope you have enjoyed the solutions uh, throughout this section and in third section we will discuss after few minutes. So um, enjoy the solutions and I hopefully you will be able to enjoy. If there is any problem pertaining still, uh, you do write to us and mail us at darwinsingacademy at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you.